A tank speeding across an open airfield at 60 miles an hour. Is there any more glorious sight in nature? Perhaps herds of Abrams sweeping majestically across the Serengeti Plain. Uh, I'll stop that now. Hello everybody, and welcome to some more Kerbal Space Program and BD Armoury. Today we're looking at a couple of mods. Uh, it's not that long since I did my last mod video, and I am I was trying not to run two of them quite close together, but uh, I wanted to get this mod out of the way before I do some of the other videos I've got planned for the future. Um, yeah, there's some method to the madness. Or there's some madness to the method. Either way, there's some method and there's some madness, and it doesn't really pay to dig too deeply into what's what. Anyway, the mods we're going to be looking at today are SM Armory, um, not S and M Armory. That's uh, that's something different. Uh, the other one is SM AFVs or Armored Fighting Vehicles. In case you were wondering, um, both these mods are by Spanner Monkey. I covered his large boat parts mod in in uh, an earlier video. And uh, both these mods, they're kind of a bit of a go-to for people who want to expand their armament beyond the basic stuff you get with the uh, BD Armoury mod. So we start today with a look at AFVs. Um, you can see here a tank I put together. It's the same old crappy tank chassis that I've used in some of my previous videos and I really should get round to designing something that looks a bit better, but never mind. Uh, I put the uh, the Abrams turret that comes with BD Armoury on top of it. And I've also swapped out the wheels hidden under an armor skirting for proper tank treads, which is one of the uh, one of the main attractions of the AFV's mod, because it means you can actually have a tank that looks like a tank, and uh, well, that can only really be a good thing. Incidentally, if you do want to use the tank treads from this mod or any kind of custom wheel uh, from any mod, most of them use another mod called KSP Wheels. It uh, it doesn't really add in the thing; it just adds the API that. Uh, most other mods use for their wheels, and if you don't use it, then you just get wheels that clip through the ground and don't do anything, which is, isn't is much use. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. I'll put a link to all these mods in the description. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go and look and uh, look at what else AFVs has to offer, because it's not just, uh, not just the tank treads, although you do get all sorts of shapes and sizes of those. Let's go see what other tank-related mischief we can get up to, because uh, I think, as we can plainly see here, Tanks are fun. If you prefer your stuff pre-made, then this mod has you covered. You see me here sticking together the parts for an M2 tank. Um, there's a whole load of stuff. There's at least one other tank in there. Um, there's a Jeep and an APC. I think there's a couple of APCs. Uh, there's a tow truck, and I, I think there's a crane. That might be a different mod. But yeah... Um, there's also a whole selection of turrets uh, on this particular vehicle. I decide to go for a T-80 turret to see what that's like. But if you prefer to build your own, then there's plenty of stuff in here for you as well. And not just the selection of turrets. There's also uh, there's a load of armor panels, which come in a greater variety of shapes and sizes than the ones you get with BD Armory. So you can build more imaginative and better looking stuff should you so desire. Um, anyway, I take this thing out for a test drive, we blow some stuff up, we, uh, we test the little machine gun that comes as a part of the, uh, the hull itself, and, uh, yeah, all's going well until I, uh, until I manage to roll the thing, which, uh, yeah, points to me for that one. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's get a proper tank battle going, let's look at some of the parts from, uh, from SM Armory as well. So here we are then, I've lined up two sets of tanks against each other. This one is, this line is led by uh, one of these tanks armed with the M1 Abrams cannon as we were uh, looking at earlier. And it is accompanied by two of these tanks armed with these turrets from the AFV's mod. These are the M2 full spectrum turrets. Uh, they do come equipped with this little rocket launcher type thing, but I haven't figured out a way to uh, make the AI use that properly. And it usually just means that the AI won't actually fire the main gun. Anyway, these are the two support tanks for the Abrams turret. Uh, these will, you know, smaller caliber, more rapidly firing. So uh, hopefully should be an ideal complement. And on the other side, we have um, we have a bunch of turrets from the SM Armory mod. This is the Dual 105 Cannon turret. Uh, 105, I think that's the same caliber as this gun. Hmm. Basically, this is two of those. So, uh, no prizes for guessing who might win this fight. Anyway, it again has two support tanks with sort of a smaller calibre, more rapidly firing guns, and these are equipped with the Bofors cannon. So, uh, yeah, be interesting to see how this one develops. Um, now, I don't think there's an easy way, at least not in this version, there's not an easy sort of start competition button, so I'm just going to have to start everybody going and then just switch on their guard mode. So, uh, yeah, here goes. 
I missed one. There we go. And here come the rounds. And there goes the return fire. It's interesting because I wanted to do... Uh, I was wanting to do more stuff in the near future to do with the... Well, that involved tanks. Uh, so I kind of wanted to get this this um, this video out of the way first because we're going to be relying a, a little bit heavily on on these mods. Um, it's interesting because I got a, just before I recorded this bit, I had a comment uh, after one of the other videos says, "Why not do some tank battles?" It's like, yeah, sounds fun. Hmm. Without meaning to give too much away. Oh, and one of the one of the Bofors equipped tanks has lost his Bofors uh, turret. How's the other side doing? Quite well, just firing in, uh, firing in more bullets. Um, yeah, the um, the tank battle AI in this one is a little rough and ready, but uh, it seems to do the job. Oh, and that's the Abrams turret gone. Just as uh, one side seemed to be getting the upper hand, it's uh, oh, nope, we have to, we're down to one Bofors cannon on this side. So yeah, anyway, the SM Armory mod, it's just it's um. Whereas the AFB's mod is more sort of general, generally towards tanks, and that's the last of the turrets on this side gone. So the uh, AFV side looks to be the winner, courtesy of. Oh, he's lost one of his. He's lost one of his treads. Hmm. Didn't go how I was expecting it to, but never mind. Yes, as I was saying, the um, AFV's is a more general tank mod, but uh, SM Armory is just weapons. It's things like these turrets, it's guns, it's missiles and bombs. Um, Quite a lot of anti-aircraft stuff in there as well, um, but uh, I think we've uh, I think we've finished uh, I think we've finished up here. So uh, let's move on to something else. So now we're going to look at a little bit of anti-aircraft stuff, and uh, to that end, I've equipped three of my uh, same old crappy tank cars, I'm afraid, with these uh, old-school anti-aircraft flat cannons, and we're going to go up in my uh, in my little ground attack club tail and. Uh, See if we can see if they can do us any damage. I doubt they will do. It's uh, it, they're not won't be much match for a modern modern jet fighter, but uh, we'll go and see nonetheless. Uh, so we want to get engines, brakes, and throttle, and we are off. There's a whole bunch of anti-aircraft stuff in SM Armory, including um, a few combined gun and missile turrets, which look absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm not going to be looking at them today, but. Uh, if you want to, if you want to, you know, download it, give them a look, get absolutely shredded, then uh, by all means feel free. I think we're getting up to about, yeah, getting up to about two kilometres, so I'll turn on those now. And here come the fire. Here comes the fire, I should say. And we are going to want to get our uh, cluster bomb selected. Some of those are coming a bit close. But uh, hopefully we, we should have the speed and manoeuvrability to uh, to ensure they don't do us too much damage. Goes some, there goes some more. And I think we're just about getting to the right range that we can turn around and start lining ourselves up for a bombing run. Around we come. There we go. Flatten out. There's the targeting reticule. I think we're pretty well lined up, but we will uh, have to see as we get closer. Trigger is armed. How are we doing? I think we're pretty good. Maybe drifting off slightly to the... Uh... There goes one, there goes the other. Let's turn sharply to see if we can avoid that gunfire. Nearly hitting one of the cluster on our own cluster bombs on the way down. Not ideal. But uh, pull a few manoeuvres, we should be able to uh, easily keep ourselves clear of those guns. And uh, let's go. I think they're distracted by the cluster bombs themselves. So let's go and see how... Uh... Oh! Didn't do too much damage. So yeah, they're, uh, they're continuing to fire. Let's bring ourselves around. See if we can line up something with a bit more traditional weaponry. to do, round there, over there, lock target, zoom in, yeah, the problem with those dumb fire bombs is, let's go for some mavericks, oh, those are getting close, ha, 
I was about to say, the problem is that they should be a problem avoiding these as long as you keep your distance as I get in right nice and close to them. There goes one. I assume that is... Yeah, that's 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 no longer with us. Um, so we'll want to zoom to the next one. Come around. As I said, easy pickings. Easy pickings for a modern fighter. One more. Two more. Go, and those should hit pretty quickly. There we go. I think that hit took out both of them. Yep, they're all dead. So, easy peasy, you might say. Well, uh, I thought that might be the case, so I've lined up myself something a little bit different as well. Let's bring ourselves around. You might notice that little blob there. And that is armed with... Another type of anti-aircraft defence that comes with SM Armoury. These are the Neva missiles. So I'm going to switch teams and stick guard mode on. And um, yeah, I haven't worked out a way. I haven't worked out a way to get this to fire reliably, so I'm gonna have to go and do that manually. Um, I'm still playing about with this mod, trying to get to get to grips with it, so uh, yeah, still learning. So uh, come come learn along with me. And that yeah, these are supposed to be quite Quite hot anti-aircraft missiles. Oh, that was close. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too special. They seem to be do the job just as well as any other uh, anti-aircraft missiles do. You can still just about avoid them if you uh, if you chop a bit of chaff, pull a few maneuvers, and whatnot. Um, just give the last two a go here. Oh, nuts! I am very close to that. Ah, not a problem. Anyway, let's move on. Now, I couldn't really let this video go without uh, without a quick look at these. These are Tomahawk land attack missiles, the nuclear version, and we are about to launch a couple at the KSC. So, uh, where are weapons? We will want a couple of you. Trigger is armed. We'll want one over there. And we'll want one over there. And uh, I have a little observer on the ground who's just going to see what happens with the destruction. It's another one of my little M1 tanks. My sort of, my, yeah, the M1, uh, M1 turreted tanks. Um, if you're a fan of big missiles, then uh, well, you can uh, you can use these nuclear missiles. There are um, there are Scud missiles. You can even go uh, if you fancy the bit more of the retro feel. You can go for the V1s or the V2s. Just whatever keeps you entertained, really. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite effective. Hmm, fun. Anyway, we'll finish today much as we started with one of my uh, one of my basic tank hulls running around destroying the uh, KSC. But uh, we've gone from the sublime to the ridiculous in that I've strapped a 77-ton mag cannon to the top of it. Um, this is one of the naval weapons that come with SM Armory. There's a whole bunch of naval weaponry that come with it. Um, so yeah, that is uh, S uh, SM AFVs and SM Armory. Um, if you uh, if you've been playing about with BD Armory for a while and you're uh, you're starting to get a bit bored of the weapon selection there, or you just want to expand into tanks or stuff like that, then uh, these two mods are well worth a look. As I said earlier in the video, they're kind of a bit of a go-to mod for people who want to expand their arsenal beyond the basic stuff you get with BD Armory. Um, there's so much stuff in there, I can't even begin to do it justice with um, with a single mod video. So, uh, if, if you like what you see, then by all means pick it up and have a little play about um, and have hours and hours of fun just blowing the hell out of absolutely everything with a vast selection of weaponry, as I have here today. Um, as I said, I'll put links to all these mods in the description, both uh, the FVs, the SM Armoury and the uh, KSP wheel, which you'll need for all the tank stuff, but um, yeah, that will be it for today. SMAFVs and SM Armoury, both by Spanner Monkey, um, and uh, yeah, I need to get round to designing myself a better tank hull, but uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.